Bob Saget and the final photo that he took, and it is really, really telling about who Bob Saget was and how he treated fans. Um, just a few minutes before, we told you that uh, police released these details, and they said that a few minutes before he walked into his hotel room at the Ritz-Carlton in Orlando, uh, he was talking to the valet when he pulled up and actually took a photo with the valet. And here is that photo. The valet, we're not showing his face, but he asked Bob for the photo, he took it. By the way, he's given police this photo. He spoke to police about what he saw and he did not see any injury well, this to is, Bob. And this is critical, by the yeah. way. The fact that he looked at him, he saw no evidence of any cut, anything like that, and Bob did have uh, some kind of a black eye when they found him and that, therefore something clearly happened inside the hotel. But he said, look, there was no damage to the car. There was no car accident. He was fine. He was lucid. Fine. He wasn't was wobbly, anything like that. Walked, walked fine to, to his hotel room. Walks, in, walks inside, and then the, secure, the surveillance video follows him into the room, and the door shuts, the door locks, and the door never opens again, never even unlocks until security comes in that afternoon and finds Bob's, Bob's body, which then reinforces what authorities are saying is, that there was some accident in the room. Yeah, guys, that, that reinforces obviously all of that, but the thing that this reinforced with me at least was I actually spoke to the valet and the fact that Bob, after working all these hours, he did like a two hour show, drove all the way back to the hotel and this was at 2 a.m., still stayed with this guy and talked with him for about 10 minutes and then was kind enough to take the photo. It just kind of shows you what kind of guy he was. At two in the morning when, he had, the driven morning. Two, when he had driven two hours after performing a two hour set. So he was clearly tired, but gee, the fact that but he did still, that, so just, kind. it reinforces what everybody was saying about Bob Saget, right? My name is Rob Kapustinsky. First and foremost, I just wanted to share my deepest condolences to, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> those closest to Bob, his friends, his family, his fans. He was a beauty and entourage, and I used to watch <laughs> him all the time in Full House for uh, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, of course. But not only is this death tragic, but just very, very suspicious, too. We're hearing one thing, hearing another thing. You know, uh, hours before going to bed, he appears fine. The next thing you know, TKO, right? Um, uh, it would just be nice to get that concrete evidence and closure we're all uh, wanting. But the closure what is there. But what he's saying is because even even in the details, police, they weren't in the room. So all they can do is... We're never, we're never going to know. It's, right. always, it's a theory. We know, people, we know he hit his head. Yes. We know he's hit his head because there's a bruise in his head. for some people in a world where most crimes are... are are definitively solved. NCIS. Right. And because we don't have that in this case, people are, have these theories. But it, 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 he, it was he, an accident. He had an accident in the room. He hit his head on something. He had a brain clot. It is just a, ble uh, a brain bleed. And yeah. it's just something that happens very, very infrequently, thank God, and sadly happened to him.